Hey, um, I'm Chad Gasparian. I grew up, I was born in Hollywood, California, and then two years later moved to Laguna Beach and went through all my schooling there and always lived on the beach. And then um, after high school, I moved to Hawaii for a few years and then came back and got all my sponsors and became a professional surfer. After that career, I got into motocross and that's how I started painting on this. Well, my father was an artist and my mom was a designer. So I just had it in my blood to be an artist, I guess. And that's how I got into art. My, my inspiration was to become a professional surfer one day and uh, I drew all the time. And I started painting surfboards, that's how I got started. Just uh, learning on surfboards, airbrushing. For all my teammates, that I, uh, the team that I rode for, and worked my way up to the, to the surfboard industry. I was a professional for 10 years, traveled all over the world surfing um, events, had major sponsors that paid my way, so it was a good life. Um, and during that whole time I was painting surfboards for uh, my teammates and working my way, way, way up to the surfboard industry also, painting surfboards for different brands and um, Channel Islands was the biggest company that I worked for and it's probably still the biggest, one of the biggest surfboard manufacturers. I got into motocross but I, uh, I got a dirt bike in my late, when I was like 30 I started riding motocross just for fun because I was not traveling anymore and I got married and had kids and I got my little boys into motocross and we started riding together and going to the tracks and camping. So I moved from the beach to uh, Temecula where there, all the good tracks were in riding. And my style, I tried to keep it different from other helmet painters because of my surfing background. I try to bring the surfing elements and skateboarding and the younger generation, the culture, into uh, my designs. That's kind of what's in me too. That's my era. I like the bright colors and since my name's Tagger too, I try to do a lot of graffiti kind of style and I don't want to follow like all the other painters that are all kind of doing the old hot rod, old school stuff. I can do that also, but I try to always do different things so it's not always the same and get stale. My inspiration um, just comes from my surf background. It's pretty easy for me and skating like I said before, but um, I still watch surfing. I don't get to get in the water that much anymore. All I do is work. I have so much work now, but... I, uh, I watch surfing and I, you know, check out surfers boards and industry boards like what I used to paint, try to keep up with the times and you get inspiration from all kinds of things like fashion magazines, all kinds of different, you know, looking through magazines or anything every day you could find something that kind of inspires you and you can use and alter it a little or something so you don't have to totally copy it but make it your own style. As far as riders who I've painted for, it's been pretty much every pro that I could think of, but I mean, there's different eras. Uh, Ryan Villapoto, I painted his helmets before Monster when he was a kid, like 13 or 14. And then, um, you know, Ricky Carmichael, Stewart, Chad Reed, I could name them all, but there's too many. And now I'm doing stuff for Nitro Circus, which is really built, growing, and I do replica designs for Bell and other helmet companies, which is really cool because people get to afford those just by buying a helmet out of a retail store all over the world, and it has my name on it, designs, so that makes me proud.